This is Cybert signing into General's Zero Hour onto the map Vendetta, which is, you know, it's not Tournament Desert. It does feel a little bit like Tournament Desert, but it's not Tournament Desert, and that is the most important thing. Meanwhile, in the north, playing as the Purple USA Super Weapons General, this is Excal. And in the south, playing as the Blue USA Laser, this is is Lift Truck. Now, Lift Truck, I am not familiar with. I don't watch a ton of Zero Hour. I don't uh, play a lot of Zero Hour. And so, Lift Truck, not so much familiar with. Now, Xcal, on the other hand, I have seen many games from over the years, but again, I haven't been doing a lot of Zero Hour lately. Uh, a couple of Missile Defenders and a Dozer inside of that Chinook. Uh... This is one of those things where it's like, wait, is there a build where you Patriot EMP someone? I think that's a thing, but is that what he's doing here? I mean, I guess we'll see that Humvee is here. One Missile Defender hops on out. I would have swore that there was a Dozer inside of that as well. Humvee down a little bit below half health, and there is going to be the drop-off of the Dozer. So the Missile Defender does kind of get crushed there by the Dozer as well. The double response from Lift Truck. And now it's going to be a laser lock on the Supply Chinook, and it will manage to escape just for a moment. But a barracks is getting established. This is where, I guess this is just a normal thing to happen in Gen Zero Hour, but this is not something that I remember seeing. The proxy barracks coming out from Xcal. One Humvee does get on, the second Humvee barely manages to survive, but a couple of the missile defenders have been eliminated. Second Humvee pops on out. The repair is going to be good enough at least because it apparently is the War Factory blocking those rockets from the missile defender laser lock and absorbing them. So Xcal going for a bit of a cheeky build here. And I guess it's going to eventually get shut down just by Humvees, but he has completely denied mining to one of the supplies. Missile Defender drop on the right side. This is a command center cell, so that is one less dozer that Lift Truck has for the rest of the game. I assume he still has a dozer, yeah, here in the south, so he's still got that. He's still got a little bit of build, but this is a double supply deny from Xcal. Humvee on the north side of the map going for a supply deny of, of Xcal, and actually he's going to be able to get at least one Chinook here with his Humvee, but at the same time, no supplies are being gathered. Humvee's finally going to be able to come in here, clean up this barracks, shut down that dozer, and that should be a complete lockdown of that barracks eventually by lift truck. Humvee barely managing to escape. Denying mining on at least one of those supplies is certainly good for lift truck. He does eventually lose the Humvee in the north, which is a bit unfortunate, but he is going to be able to eventually shut down that barracks. The attempt at the cell there, but a couple of rangers will get cleaned up at the last moment there. And finally, it does look like Lift Truck has control of his main base again. He was lost. He lost so much mining time, but I guess it is very important that he was able to deny some of that mining time loss from uh, Xcal as well. So Xcal taking a bit of economic damage there indirectly, and his Humvee is going to be coming on out. Missile Defender is going to try and laser lock down that Humvee, and they will be able to get it nicely done there. And uh, the other Missile Defenders will, I guess, eventually clean that up. But, of course, it does take a very long time. Another Chinook goes down. Lift Truck just cannot catch a break with his economy. However, he may be able to hunt down this one MB. Nope, barely it will um, not escape. As it turns right back around, going to eject out a couple of those Missile Defenders. He had the Missile Defender on the ground, was able to clean up both of the Humvees, traded it out for the one. And the veteran pilots are, jo are going to hang around and just eventually get cleaned up by that missile defender. All right, Chinooks returning to their normal operations. And meanwhile, double, hum double vet Humvee in the north manages to get the cell of one of those supply centers. Humvee should be able to escape that laser lock. And Xcal is back to harvesting with his two Chinooks in the top right corner. The aggression this game haphazard from both players as they are wheeling and dealing damage, but I think Lift Truck has completely stabilized now. So Xcal is still a little bit off the kilter, but he is in a better spot than he was a few moments ago. Another Humvee going to be coming out for Xcal. Meanwhile, the tow missiles 
already armed up on those Humvees for lift truck. He is heading his way to the north, and it looks like Excal is going to be there to greet him. A couple of missile defenders on the ground, making their way over to that supply. And actually, no, those are those are blue missile defenders still making their way in. So a Humvee gets sniped. A good catch there by lift truck, and that's going to allow him to potentially shut down this supply center. He is going to turn south. It looks like the Chinooks have made their way to an attempt at higher ground. Instead, he's going to be going for the power plant there, and Excal just getting completely bopped here after what looked like a fine opening. He's going to have to kind of base race against Lift Truck. He shuts down the supply in the south, and now he goes for the power plant as well, trading power plants between them and Excal trying to get this last unload of supply. One Humvee is left in the north. Meanwhile, the ones in the south have all been cleaned up and Excal with a couple of missile defenders posted around the base of lift truck and there goes the barracks. No more missile defenders for Excal. Meanwhile, that one double vet Humvee does manage to escape off to the right side. He's going to go for the kill on that Chinook. Gets one of the Chinooks. The other supply does move away. He might have to float over the water there and try and keep himself alive just by evading that Humvee. A couple of Excal missile defenders moving out of the base of lift truck. Both of these guys extremely low on cash below the limit for what they can actually rebuild a Chinook for. And this Humvee, double vet for lift truck, looking for that final kill. But he's just going to be going for the infantry instead. And, uh, well, the infantry are going to get cut down. Those rangers will all be eliminated. And I guess at this point, every unit counts. Excal with a war factory and a supply center. He's got a couple of missile defenders trying to return home. If he can shut down that Humvee, he is going to be in a much better spot. Chinook's returning from a distance for lift truck, so he's going to be able to get his economy underway once again. And I guess right now it's two... Chinooks versus one will soon to be none as this Humvee gets laser locked and Excal is going to be maybe losing this game by just an inch. $425 in the bank and that might be the end of it. These two missile defenders are not going to be able to hold off all things as Lift Truck still has some kind of an economy even if it is not particularly strong for what you would want Two missile defenders go down, and the third barely survives that Humvee attack, but it will eventually go down to the missile defender of Lift Truck. And the War Factory hasn't been eliminated, but that is a triple vet Humvee. And the GG gets called a weird game from Excal, but Lift Truck does take it in the end. Way far out on the aggression, and it turns out... The resources didn't even matter until the very end where Lift Truck finally got himself back in the game. And that will do it for this match. Big thanks to Exile for the custom UI. He, uh, he fixed up the Control Bar Pro for me and uh, customized it. So big thanks to him for that. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber, signing out.